So let's set up what happens when an avatar is open. Let's not only swap out the old one for the new one, but there, if there isn't an old one, we would like to display the uh, uploaded avatar once it's uploaded. So let's go back to users.php and scroll up to our JavaScript up here. We're going to add something that checks to see if the upload was a success. And if you go over to the drop zone page and scroll down to the events section, you can see a bunch of events uh, that you can check for. In this case, we want to use success. So back in our JavaScript, what we need to do is my drop zone dot on, and then we're going to run success and comma, and then we're going to do a function. So function parentheses and then the brackets. And uh, yeah, put the put the file name in the function. We need to pass that. So now what we need to do is we're going to want to replace the HTML where the avatar is currently with whatever's been uploaded. So what we need to do is create some kind of container to place the image in. So we'll have a div here and we'll give it the ID of avatar and close that, then move this image tag inside the div. Now what we can do is use what's called the load method to basically load brand new HTML into that div. And it's, it's not just going to load it, but it's going to replace what was in there already. Not the div itself, but what's inside of it. So now we're going to do some more Ajax. So first for our selector, we need to target that div that we just created. Then dot load in parentheses. And the only parameter is the Ajax file that we want to run. And that file will handle what happens when this success event has been triggered. So let's go to our Ajax folder, right click, choose new file, and we'll just call this avatar.php. So to make things easier, let's grab our uh, pages.php in the Ajax folder. Let's open that up and then copy. Then let's copy all this and paste it into our new document. And then let's go ahead and remove everything except for this include. So then go back to users.php. And for the load property, let's load this file. Now we need to send it the opened ID. That way we can run a query in the Ajax doc to get the file name. So let's add a question mark ID equals then echo out that opened ID. Then close that and the PHP and then save that. You might think, well, why don't we just send the file name from the opened array instead of the ID? Well, if we do that, then we'd be getting the actual old file name. And we want to run this query after the new upload so that we get the new file name. So go back to avatar.php and we'll run a query. So let's do select avatar from users where ID equals ID. Then we'll run the query r equals mysql i underscore query. Then now we just need to get that image. So let's do data equals mysql i fetch Asoch, then the result. So now we need to spit this image out. So go back to users.php. Let's just copy this entire image tag because we, we want to make sure we mimic this. Then go back to avatar.php, paste this uh, after the PHP tags. Then all we need to do is change opened to data. Now let's go look at our JavaScript. What's going to happen here is once our image has been loaded successfully, this load method will run, which basically replaces everything in that target div with whatever has been outputted in our Ajax document. And at this point, all that is is an image tag. So let's go to our page and drop an image in. And there you go. See, every time we do this, it'll swap out the image for a new one. This makes this process feel and look much more fluid.